Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. We're going to work this problem in static equilibrium. So what we have here is a crate. We don't know how heavy it is or how much it weighs, but it's suspended uh, between these two members here that are joined. And these members, you can think of them as cables if you want, but in this problem, let's think of them as wooden members. So like some piece of wood going from here to the roof, some piece of wood that's joined here going from here to the roof, and then suspended from that is some crate that's got some weight associated with it. And we have the dimensions of everything. We can see how all this stuff is laid out geometrically, and we have the, the points labeled A, B, and C for reference. Now here's the part of the problem that's interesting. It says that member AC can support a maximum tension of 300 pounds before it breaks. So that means if I go to 301 pounds of tension in that guy, it's going to snap and everything's going to fall apart. Then it also says that member AB uh, is able to withstand a maximum tension of 250 pounds. Maybe these guys are made from different types of wood or something. They have different structural strengths. So anyway, this guy can take a maximum uh, tension or force of 300 pounds, and this guy can take a maximum tension of 250 pounds. The question is, what is the largest weight crate that can be hung? So what we basically are doing is, of course, if this is... 10 pounds or 20 pounds or 30 pounds or 40 pounds, as we go higher and higher in the weight, more and more tension is going to be developing in these members. Eventually, one of these two members is going to reach its breaking point first. And then it's going to snap, and then at that point, at the moment right before it snaps, that is going to be the heaviest crate that we're allowed to hang there. So that's a very practical problem, right? You might see how you might build a structure to hold something. You might want to know how heavy of a structure you can support. Uh, and very frequently you're going to be building things out of different materials anyway, so you have to take into account the different, the different structural strengths there. So how do we go about doing this? Now, we know that at the moment before it breaks, at the moment right before it breaks, everything is in equilibrium. So if I keep putting weight into this crate, everything is equilibrium all the way up until the moment the thing uh, snaps. So we want to find that balance point, and the trick is we don't really know which one of these members is going to break first. Uh, well, I should say, we know which, that, that this guy is stronger than this, but notice that the angle is also different. So we don't really know what force is going to be developed in here. We don't really know which one of these is going to reach its breaking point first. You might look at this and say, well, the 251, the one that can do 250, that one's going to break first. Well, yeah, but since the angles are different, you don't know which one of these members is actually going to reach its breaking point first, and that's what we need to figure out. So the first thing we need to do is draw a free body diagram. The magic point of interest here is point A, that's the center of the universe of this drawing. So I'm going to draw a dot for the center of that universe, and that's going to be point A. And then we have a member going off in that direction, which will be pulling on it, so we're going to have 